everyone welcome to today's video yes i am sat on my floor weirdly um because i have a giant unboxing for you so long story short i've been having a really hard time of it at work work has been absolutely awful it's been so stressful there's basically not enough nurses we're not supposed to work on two nurses per shift we they just literally cannot fill the nurses shifts so I've been working on my own quite a lot which means doing two people's jobs because you've got to do meds you've got to coordinate you've got to do mental state examinations etc etc so especially when you're on a long day it is like I work 14 and a half hour days and it is really really stressful so the other day I was led in bed and I was feeling really sorry for myself and I don't drink I don't smoke I don't have a life or nobody has a life at the moment do they because of covid we're in the middle of a pandemic I'm burnt out I'm stressed and I thought I'm gonna treat myself so there's a company called Stitch and Story this is this isn't sponsored I bought this myself and they do a lucky box look it says it on the box Stitch and Story I think is it is a British company I don't think their yarns are made in the UK but it is a British company and I think it was started by two women you go girls and this came up on my Instagram feed because I am a sucker. It was either Instagram or Facebook, I can't remember. This lucky box. So it's got £300, the total is £300 worth of stuff. They cost £150, which I know is a lot of money. This is not a braggy video, I promise. I've worked really, really hard for my money. Um, and I'm on crap money. Um, and I also had a 10% off code. So the whole box came to £135. And I have just literally got back from Wales because um, I'm on annual leave this week. So I've come back, not not to open the box. Um, i come back because I've got a few things to do. And then I'm going back to Wales on Friday where I'm meeting the lovely Amy, who's one of our admin on Crochet Beginners group. And we're going yarn shopping. But judging by the size of this box, I don't think I will be buying that much on i need to get a drink sorry it's really hot it is like 24 degrees and it's really muggy and i look a state but you're not here to see me you're here to see the yarn so i'm keeping it real it's really muggy and i'm drinking out of a southmead hospital bottle that my mum gave me i feel like i'll like burn to ash drinking out of another nhs trust drinks bottle but desperate times anyway let's get going for the lucky box. I've had to sit on the floor because it's so big. So I have opened it, opened it, but I haven't looked in it, if you know what I mean, because it's just easier. So let's get going, I'm so excited. <gasps> right, let me, let, me, let me just get comfortable. There's such a lot in this box. That is crazy. So first off, we have a leaflet. Your crafting journey starts here. New yarn, new possibilities. If you want to go and check them out, stitchandstory.com. Go and check their website out. They've just got like beautiful yarns. Um, crafting made simple. Your crafting journey starts here with a Stitch and Story lucky box. Dive into this treasure trove of woolly wonders and discover some never seen before Stitch and Story yarns as well as much love favourites. Our modern approach to self-care empowers you to take time for yourself and make something that's truly unique. Girls, Stitch and Story girls, as a mental health professional, I appreciate that. You go, seriously. We all need to spend a bit more time on looking after ourselves. Anyway, that's my little run over. So first off, we have this bag. So I wasn't sure if this box was knit or crochet or both or just crochet because I have started knitting. I've gone to the dark side and I'm really ashamed. I have started knitting some bits. So anyway, I presume these are knitting needles because they'd be too big for a crochet hook. So we have two sets of needles. One set is 10 mil, and then we have a set of five millimeters and there's also a crochet hook as if I haven't got enough crochet hooks <laughs> then I don't know where to start so we have 
I presume that's pom-poms and not a dead rat in the box. There is three of, so two dark, one bright, uh, white, cream. And then look at all this lovely yarn, I don't know where to start. So we will start here. So I'll only show you one, there is multiples, I'm guessing. Just by looking at it, there's multiples. So first off, we have this woolen tweed in shade lavender field i love that that is absolutely beautiful 50 percent wool 30 percent alpaca 20 percent viscose i love it i love that color as well that is very me and then we have this my mum would call this color petrol blue <gasps> this is so soft so this is cotton braid and this feels like a cloud it is absolutely beautiful and there is three, five of these. 50 grams, absolutely squidgy and lovely. Then, well, I don't know where to go. So next along, we have some cotton and I am shocked actually because normally cotton is quite stiff and this is actually really, really soft. Because I've used like peaches and cream they're sort of cottons that I've got when I'm on holiday in America and they're quite stiff but this is really really soft and quite pliable so that's that one and I think this is another cotton oops and this is in pink sherbet love it and then we'll go for this one this is really soft. I'm guessing this is a polyester. Yeah, 100% polyester. Roly poly plush. That is proper squidgeness right there. And then we have the melange. I don't know if I'm saying this right. The melange wool, 100% wool, pastel beige. This is like a sort of fawn, what I would call fawn you know, fawn colour. So there's that one. And then I think this is, yeah. Oh, this is different. This is chunky wool, 100% merino in shade number 22. It doesn't have a name, but that's like, it's looking quite red on the camera, but it's not as red in real life as it is showing up. And then, is this a different one? Oh yeah, this is a different one again. This is a melange. This is with this, the same as this one, like type. Loft grey, that is lovely. It is so soft. And then we have, this is just nuts. The amount of stuff that's in here. A mini twist, 50 grams in Snow White. And this one, doesn't say what it is. Oh yes, it does, 60% wool, 15% acrylic, 10% alpaca. 10% nylon, 5% silk. Um, have we done this one? No. This is lovely. This is a chunky wool as well, 100% merino. Beautiful. And then, have I done that one? I think I'm, oh no, this is different. Again, I'm getting really confused because there's so many of them. And this is a mini twist. And this is color ink blue. And this is showing up a little bit darker as well on screen. But it's like um, a light navy, as I would say. And I think we might be done because I think there's multiples underneath, yeah. So definitely, if you're considering getting one of their lucky boxes, do it because I have got enough yarn here to keep me going for a fair while. And like I said, I, it allowed me to use the 10% off code that I got sent to me. It's just when I signed up to their emails and they'll send you a 10% off code. So worth it, definitely worth it. All this yarn, plus you're supporting a UK business, plus you're supporting a business that's ran by two badass women, I'm telling you. The future is women. So on that note, I am gonna take my yarn back inside and have a look what I can make. I think you can go on their website. It's got QR codes that you can scan and it takes you to the patterns. 
perfect. This is amazing. I am really pleased. So definitely go and check out Stitch and Story and I will try and film mine and Amy's visit to the yarn shop on Friday. Have a lovely rest of the week. I'll speak to you all soon. Take care, happy crocheting and knitting.